When I opened the classic flap that the essay handed to me, I saw that the Hi guys, welcome to my channel, it's Gorillas in Heels. Today I wanted to quickly answer a question which I've been asked quite frequently by some of my friends, which is how do you authenticate a Chanel bag if you're buying it second hand? So let's start with the first item and that is serial number. So the serial number um, of the bag can be found in two places. They can be found on the authenticity card and they can also be found on the inner flap, on the sticker in the corner of the bag. The first two digits of the serial number corresponds to the year that the bag was made. And if I'm buying directly from an individual, the first question I would ask is, when did you buy the bag? and which season do you buy the bag? So I usually start with that question and then I cross check it with the serial number later on. So I want to point out that the maximum number of digits that a serial number should have is eight digits. For Chanel bags that have serial numbers beginning with six onwards, which are bags made from year 2000 and after, all the digits one have a serif on it and all the digits zero have a strike through. Now, for bags made prior to year 2000, there are different variations for some years and for some series, the zeros do not have strike throughs. So do check out that information when you are um, purchasing the bag. Do a note that the serial number method only works for bags that were made before 2021. In 2021, Chanel replaced the serial number with a microchip, which is a metal block that's attached inside the bag. The second thing to look out for is the stamping. So in the inner flap of the bag, it will say Chanel made in France, and the color of the stamping should match the hardware of the bag. So if you're buying a classic flap in gold hardware, the stamping should be in gold. And if you're buying the bag in silver hardware, then the stamping should be in silver. Something I also want to point out is that if you run your fingers on the stamping, it should be embossed instead of printed. So you should feel that texture to it when you run your fingers along the Chanel made in France wordings. The next item is where the bag is made. So in my previous video, I talked about all the considerations that you should have if you're buying a Chanel bag. I'll put the link above. So for classic flaps, they are only made in two locations, made in France and made in Italy. So for fake Chanel bags, sometimes it will say made in Paris. That is definitely a fake. For authentic bags, they only put the country, France or Italy. So for Chanel, made in France or Italy, it should be positioned about 3.5cm from the double C logo. If the placement is off, either too low or too high, um, that's something to watch out for as well. There will be two places though where you will see the word Paris on the bag. The first place is the metal plate that you see behind the CC lock. It will say Chanel Paris. And the second place is the button on the classic flap. So it also says Chanel Paris. So I have a quick story to share on the Meet in France, Meet in Italy logo. About five, five years ago, I was in the Chanel London boutique and there was a bunch of tourists. I was looking at the classic flap. And when I opened the classic flap that the essay handed to me, I saw that it was a double C logo on top and the Meet in France logo was completely missing. So I was like, that's really weird given that that's in the boutique itself. I highlighted that to the SA and he was really embarrassed. He said, I'm so sorry, there must be a mistake in production. Um, let me take it back to headquarters and report this issue. So I thought that that was quite surprising. I did not expect to see a bag like that um, in the Chanel London boutique in Bond Street. Screws, the next thing. So on the metal plate, where it's printed Chanel Paris, there are two small screws on the side. And this, the screws that Chanel uses are flat head screws, where it's a line. It should not be Phillips screws where it's X-shaped. Those are definitely not authentic. Something also to check is the quilting pattern of the bag. If you look at the Chanel flat bag, when the flap is closed, you should see that the quilted patterns line up perfectly. 
it should match up even for the back pocket as well right the diamond quiltings should match up perfectly from the pocket leather to the main bag very quickly on sizing and quilts if you're buying a classic flap in the medium size you should see that there are eight perfect diamonds on the horizontal plane on the outer flap and if you're buying a chanel classic flap in a small size then there should be seven perfect diamonds the quilts should not be chopped off or truncated okay next item is the cc logo so chanel's logo has two overlapping c's on the bag you will see that for the chanel logo the right c overlaps the left c on the top and the left c overlaps the right c at the bottom what i also like to check for is how the back pocket is stitched on the bag you should see that the back pocket is of equal distance from the sides of the bag sometimes you might see that the back pocket is a little bit crooked that's also something to watch out for however i know that chanel's quality has been declining in the last couple of years and there have been instances where in stores i have seen that the back pocket is a little bit off so i'll ask the sas to bring out different versions of the classic flex for me to choose the best one if you are able to feel the metal chains of the classic flap, you can also feel that they are quite weighty. If it's not authentic, the metal is often made of cheap material and there it feels very light. So the authentic Chanel should there should be some weight to the chains when you place it on the palm of your hands. Mixed up is stitching. So if you're buying a quilted bag, you would see that on each side of the diamond, Chanel at least has 8 stitches. I've seen that sometimes it can go up to st 10 stitches. If the bag is fake, you would see that the stitches are quite sparse. And the reason why Chanel has at least 8 stitches is to ensure that you have the puffiness of the quilts. The interior lining of the flap should also be completely smooth. There should be no bubbling or creasing on the inner flap. Something small but super important is the zipper of the bag. Chanel uses a variety of brands for the zippers, but the ones that are most common would be YKK, DMC, and Lampo. So the one on my classic flap is YKK. Okay, last item which you may or may not have it if you buy it secondhand, but something to look out for is the tissue paper. So Chanel's tissue paper, when it's packaged, it's hand folded by the SAs, so it's not perfect. If you see tissue paper that is perfectly folded, um, and if the material is very, I would say, hard and stiff, it is also likely not authentic. I would also love to hear your experience if you have bought a Chanel Classic Flap secondhand. Let me know what are some of the things that you looked out for and tell me what you bought. I would love to hear. As always, please be very, very careful if you buy Chanel Classic Flaps secondhand. Please get a second opinion or please get it authenticated. I hope that you found this useful. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in my next one. Goodbye.